In this video, timer 1 of the 80 Mega 328 microcontroller is programmed to generate interrupts based on external clock signal. In this first example, we'll program timer 1 to give us compare match interrupt through external clock signal. And the external clock signal is generated by this uh, circuit here where we have an SBDT microswitch coupled with a debouncing circuit that manually gives us a rising edge pulse which is fed into D5 of the Arduino. In the OCR1A register which is the output compare register of timer 1 we saw a value of 5. So when there is a rising edge pulse coming into pin D5 of the Arduino the internal counter of timer 1 will be incremented by 1. When this value exceeds the value in the OCR1A register, the value of the internal counter will reset to 0 and we will get a compare match interrupt which will cause the onboard LED to toggle. We need to program these two registers, the timer 1 control register B and the timer 1 mask register. For the control register, uh, if we choose for the uh, clock select bits here 111 this means that we will get an external clock on pin D5 of the Arduino and for the WGM12 if we set this bit it means we are enabling the CTC for timer 1 CTC stands for clear timer on compare so the required C++ statement would be this here and for the timer 1 mask register if we enable this uh, bit here then we will enable the compare match interrupt and the required C++ statement is shown here. A quick look at the code within the setup function we need to program timer 1 so that we have compare uh, match interrupt uh, through external clock. So first we need to reset the control registers of uh, timer 1 and we need to reset the internal counter of uh, timer 1 I will need to store in the output uh, control register the value of 5. I will need to program the control register B of timer 1 so that we have CTC and external clock on pin D5. And we need to program the timer 1 mask register so that we enable the compare match interrupt. While the program is running, the initial value of the internal counter is displayed on the OLED screen, which is 0. We apply a rising edge pulse on pin D5 of the Arduino, causing the counter to increment by 1. We keep applying pulses until the value of the internal counter exceeds the value of the output compare register. Then the internal counter will reset to 0 and compare match enable interrupt will occur, causing the program to jump to this interrupt service routine and the onboard LED will toggle. In this next example, we program timer 1 to give us overflow interrupt through external clock. We apply a low frequency periodic signal to pin D5 of the Arduino and we observe the count up of the internal counter of timer 1. The counting will start from 0 up to 65535 and on the next count it will reset to 0 and uh, overflow interrupt will occur causing this onboard LED to toggle. We program timer 1 control register B by setting the clock select bits to 1 to give us external clock on pin D5 and this is the C++ statement and we program timer 1 mask register by enabling the overflow interrupt and this is the C++ statement. Within the setup function we need to program timer 1 for overflow interrupt through external clock. First we reset the control registers of timer 1, reset the internal counter, program the timer 1 control register B so that we have external clock on pin D5, program timer 1 mask register so we enable the overflow interrupt. During the running of the program we apply a clock signal at the input to pin D5 and the timer 1 counter will start counting from 0 
upwards up to the value of 65,535. And then on the next uh, rising edge pulse, the, the counter will reset to zero and uh, overflow interrupt will occur and the program will jump to this uh, interrupt service routine and the onboard LED will be toggled. In future videos, more Arduino timer applications will be demonstrated. Thank you for watching.